Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new tutorial. As always, we will build a new electronics gadget, but this time we will create something around through hole components. We will not use the small SMD parts. The device is a 12 volt DC light flasher that you can power it and stick it to your bike or car. And I will show you how to make it. Let's get started. The device is already available in several online stores, but I prefer to build it myself which favors a lower cost. I mainly use through hole components because I got some messages and comments about how hard is dealing with the small electronics components, so here is a project based on big size parts. The circuit is so simple and basically built around the charging and discharging of a little capacitor place it on the base of PMP transistor, acting as a power switch for a MOSFET transistor. The purpose of getting this combination is due to the limited current that could be handled by the bipolar transistor, which is limited to few milliamps. So I made this circuit ready to handle many parallel 12 volt bulb. In this case, I'm providing connection for 8 bulbs. I tried the circuit already on a breadboard and I got the expected results. Once I power on the circuit with 12V DC power supply, I get the bulb flashing. You can control the flashing speed by adjusting the capacitor value. I move it to Altium Designer to draw the schematic for my design. I brought all the needed parts to establish this schematic. I recommend that you visit Octopart in case you require a specific part file. Several eCAD files related to several parts categories are available out there and you can add them to Altium the easy way. I added this power jack plugin to my schematic where I will place the power connector entry and I place a power switch as well for on and off control. I consider it to place these LEDs out here, but remember that the circuit is designed to run 12 volt bulb, not LEDs. I just used them to create a connection pad for the bulb. After completing the schematic, I transformed it to a PCB design and I put all the parts inside this compact size board outline to keep my device pleasing. I then arranged the bulb connectors in two columns. You can do this the easy way using the available tools of the drawing palette. I got some questions on Instagram about why I always draw copper port area on my designs even when no needs for it. Actually, if you remove copper off the PCB, it goes somewhere in nature. So basically I'm doing this to keep the maximum copper on the boards and this way I contribute even a small part of the nature protection. Now here's how it looks the circuit board in 3D view. After getting the Gerber files related to my design, I move it to JLC PCB and I place it in my order for 5 pieces of unique surface finish and green solder mask. 5 days needed for manufacturing and delivery, and here is the blue box on my desktop. Always good to see these produced PCBs, the desired quality that I could get for such cheap price. I prepared my desktop for assembly and I brought my circuit holder, fixed the PCB on it, and now it's time to assemble. This time we will use the solder iron and no need for the hot plate. Also we will not use the solder paste, but we will need the solder core peel. My circuit board looks ready. Now it's time to test it, so I used this 12 volt DC power output from my lab DC power supply and once I turn on the device, the bulbs start on flashing. I thought about a housing for this device, so I designed a customized shape for it respecting the board size and then I 3D printed it and I added these 3mm threaded inserts to help me screwing the board. I 
also prepared these holes to place some magnet helping to stick the gadget the easy way to any metallic surface. This way the device looks ready for use. That's it for today guys, I managed to design another version based on SMD parts, so let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.